Hi, this is Katie Bailey. Today we're going to discuss the cervical nodal stations using only eight landmarks. The goal is to review this with only the necessary landmarks so you don't have to waste your time figuring out which lymph node station. So level one lymph nodes, you just need to know the anterior belly of the digastric muscle and the submandibular gland. Level 1A are between the bellies of the digastric. Level 1B are between the anterior belly of the digastric and the submandibular gland. So here are 1B lymph nodes. Here are 1A lymph nodes. Level 2 lymph nodes, you have to know the hyoid bone, the submandibular gland, the carotid sheath, and the sternocleidomastoid muscle. So level 2A lymph nodes are between the posterior border of the submandibular gland and the carotid sheath, so here are 2A. Level 2B lymph nodes are behind the carotid sheath and before you get to the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. So these are level 2B. So here's that hyoid bone. They should be above the level of the hyoid bone, 2A, 2B. Here they are in the coronal view. Level 3 lymph nodes, they need to be below the margin of the hyoid bone and above the inferior margin of the cricoid cartilage. So here's that hyoid bone that looks like a wishbone. Here's the thyroid cartilage for reference. Here's the cricoid cartilage posterior to the thyroid cartilage and slightly inferior. So level 3 lymph nodes, as demonstrated here, should be below the hyoid, basically above the inferior margin of the cricoid cartilage and adjacent to the carotid sheath. Level four lymph nodes, you're going just below that, so below the cricoid and above the clavicle. So these are called supraclavicular lymph nodes. Here you go, the inferior border of the cricoid, superior border of the clavicle, and around the carotid sheath. So these are level four or supraclavicular. Level five lymph nodes are from the top to bottom and they have to be behind the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid. Any part of a lymph node that's under the sternocleidomastoid gets labeled as the more anterior lymph node. So here's the muscle, here's the end of the muscle. So this would be a level two lymph node, this would be a level five lymph node. A level five lymph node on the left side and here are level five lymph nodes. Level six lymph nodes are considered the central compartment. So you use the carotid sheaths. They should be anterior to the carotids. They should be below the hyoid bone and superior to the manubrium. So they're this very anterior central compartment. Usually what you see with uh, thyroid uh, lymph node metastases, you'll see in that level six. In summary, these are the only things you need to know the anterior belly of the digastric muscle, submandibular glands, hyoid bone, cricoid cartilage, sternocleidomastoid muscle, the clavicles, the carotid sheaths, and the sternum. And then you can accurately tell which cervical nodal station you're at. So thanks to Dr. Bailey for this great introduction to cervical lymph nodes. Hopefully you know a little bit more about how to label them now. If you like the video, be sure to click the like button and subscribe to our channel and be sure to come back and check out for new videos frequently.